Okay, so welcome back to the, I guess, second part of the video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be splitting up the the submission uh, video, but uh, yeah, uh, welcome back to the second part of the uh, 500 uh, CGC card submission. Uh, you can see that these have uh, pink pull tabs, and I haven't really mentioned that before. I was going to submit these uh, through like the higher uh, grading tiers, but I'm not sure if I actually will. Because I don't think that like the, the next like $10 extra uh, grading tier is really going to make much of a difference. So I might just submit these through uh, through bulk with subgrades. Like honestly, I think they're all in really good shape. So it might be worth submitting them through the, uh, through the higher tier. I think it's standard. But also keep in mind I live in Europe. So I'd need to pay separate shipping orders on that. Which is also honestly quite expensive. Um, Edison Sears, as in uh, Isle Collectibles, he did mention something useful, which I had thought about, but I didn't think it would work, but he mentioned that it, it did, so I probably will do that. He mentioned that if you put in like one or two uh, carts through the express, uh, through the express service, that they would probably open up your packages at CGC a bit quicker, so I will probably do that. Maybe a bit cheaty, but yeah, unfortunately, yeah. And <laughs> that's sometimes how it works. But uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was very clever and I had thought about it, but I didn't think it would work. So I didn't really, I wasn't really going to, but I might like pick out a few cards that I, that I will submit through the Express just to get my cards hopefully a little bit faster, uh, back a little bit faster. So as you can see, there's a little bunch of stacks of the uh, yellow uh, pool tab cards. These are all going to be regular bulk without subgrades. Like subgrades being $10, honestly, like I just don't see it being worth it to. Like for these cards, like I think the, the hollows, the old pack hollows, they're not completely minty. So I figured I'd, I would just submit them, but not like with subgrades, because honestly for some stuff, it's just not worth it. Also, I don't even think this is going to get a 1. Like, I haven't seen the CGC 1 yet in anybody's return, but like, if I were to send this to PSA, it would definitely get a 1. So, just curious to see how this comes back. Um, oh, there's actually a Venusaur. I'm not sure why this is here, but might have some dings or whatever. So, I didn't bother sending it through the, uh, through the ones with the uh, subgrades. Here, pretty cool card, Totodile and uh, Chikorita deck, and it's actually the uh, the Cyndaquil, so pretty cool. These are all, I think they're, most of these cards are decently minty. Here we have the uh, Bulbasaur and the Squirtle from the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle half decks. Really cool decks, I think a lot of these have a like, unique art, and especially this deck, I think a lot of people probably don't even know about it, and it's so cool. So yeah, and as you can see, I am just submitting a whole bunch of just starter Pokemon. Like they're not even gonna be in like really high grades, but I'm just gonna submit these because I have been getting questions about like, hey, do you have any graded starters or stuff like that here in the Netherlands? So I, I'm just submitting a whole bunch. I just have a whole stack of like starters in like decent condition. Like they're not gonna be like gem mint. As you can see, also non hollows from like the base set, like most of them will have chipping on the corner. I think because the hollows have like a little layer of like hollow below the the actual print, and that protects them a lot better. But as you can see, like most of these will have just a tiny bit of white chipping. So honestly, it might be more difficult to get like one of these non hollows, like in completely minty, because out of the pack also they come with like the little chipping. But uh, yeah, anyway, a bit of ramble. But yeah, I've been getting requests for these starters and I figured these are in decent shape. They're not in like amazing shape. So I'm not gonna bother with subgrades. I don't expect any like 9.5s or 10s on these, but just to get some in, in for the store to sell, uh, I think they'll, they will do fine. And like grading one of these cards like for 15 euros. And yeah, I, I pretty much like these I would never individually buy. I get these from collections and I get these from binders, which I purchase and yeah. So these are just pretty much free cards that I'm going to submit through bulk. So yeah, getting a great card like this for me costs like 
maybe like 15 15 dollars so i think that is definitely worth it because they are quite popular these pokemon and like Kadabra, for example maybe not a lot of people will like this but i'm sure that there's somebody who will like this card and if i put it up for uh if i put a graded version up for like a, a decent affordable price i'm sure that somebody at some point will buy it and this is pretty cool i think it's a movie promo from like the arceus movie uh with ash and pikachu it's actually ash's pikachu so i think that's pretty cool we have some more of the 10th movie uh, promos I honestly like these are not incredibly popular Pokemon and I'm they might not be like 9.5 so I didn't bother getting the separates on these we have a nice rocket scissor or I'm not sure what this guy is called but I think it's called rocket scissor and then we have a Claire I think it's Claire might be wrong I think it's Claire's Blastoise I don't think it's in like minty condition but I think it's pretty nice and here we have some uh, rares from the E-Series. I did at some point, which hopefully in the next like month or something, I'll get the, that return back. Like all of these and like a whole bunch more. The, these come from my best purchase ever. And I will make a separate video on that. So <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'm going to get my uh, PSA return soon. So that I can actually uh, make a video on that. But uh, yeah, those are probably going to be from my best purchase ever. So yeah, those are actually pretty pretty decent conditions. So I figured I'd send them in, even though they are non hollow I was still looking to fill up a few spaces in my submission, so I grabbed just a whole bunch of Eevee. I really, really like this uh, Espion, this Espion gym card. And here's a few more evolutions, uh, evolutions at least. I think these are like pretty well centered and I don't think I saw like any chipping on the back, so. Hoping for some good grades for these. I have been selling these raw and like pretty much like flipping them for, yeah, flipping them for almost like double. So it's really, really nice. Like if you get them in a lot with just a few other cards, it, it's really not that, like it's not completely necessary to grade cards in order to make a profit. Like I think a lot of people, especially when watching a video like this where I'm submitting 500 cards, like people might think that my, the money that I'm making is pretty much all from like graded cards but I have submitted a, a whole bunch of cards but I've only gotten back like 40 40 cards that's all I've gotten back from submitting ever so pretty much everything you see here is prof like funded by me from just flipping raw cards which might sound weird to a lot of you but honestly if you put in time and effort flipping raw cards just buying collections buying big lots and listing every card individually it really pays off so i think that's definitely worth it for people who think and maybe watch this video and think like oh man i'll never get to a point like that like why am i even watching it honestly just buy lots buy stuff don't buy packs to open like honestly it's literally gambling <laughs> i don't really get the whole like oh man i can't enjoy the hobby because i can no longer afford sealed products like buy collections and like put in the work to actually yeah put in just put in the work and you'll you'll get somewhere in this hobby it's really not that difficult and honestly like a lot of stuff will be trial and error like a lot of stuff especially when i started out like it, it took me a long while to like get the hang of stuff and you might see me do japanese stuff like all the time and think like oh man i'm gonna do i honestly would probably advise to start with english maybe it's just yeah japanese is really there's a lot of it and it's also difficult to get the products shipping costs might be difficult or like even being able to buy stuff yeah i don't know but if you if you get around to it and if you get the hang of it honestly yeah definitely worth it so we got a whole bunch more of the shiny v uh cards those have been i don't know i was really expecting them to do better I was expecting that Shiny V would do a lot better. But yeah, unfortunately, they haven't really been doing that great. But yeah, I I picked these up like the the small shinies maybe for like 2 euros or something each. So I think that's a very fair price. I think these are the ones that I picked out. I think there will be people looking for these Pokémon specifically. But the Italian, I think it's a pretty cool card even though I don't hear a lot of people about it. Like I don't really hear a lot of people talk about the new starters 
I do hear people talk about Snom, and Snom is amazing, <laughs> so we'll be keeping one of these for myself. Also, these uh, these bottles are. I'll be creating these for my friends and uh, also myself. So I'll probably keep one of each and give one of uh, the other ones to to my friend, just as a gift. But I think that would be nice. And yeah, I think we've <laughs> gone on to the the Charizard part of the video. Because honestly, you can't really do a submission without just a whole bunch of Charizards. Uh, yeah, I'm submitting a whole bunch of these. I still have oh, still have a lot of these. At the start, I purchased a hundred, uh, like through the Pokemon Center, through my uh, friend in Japan. I purchased a hundred of these, and I'm still like slowly grading them. These also I purchased quite recently. I think. Oh, Specifically these, like the Vivid Voltage one, or the Amazing Volt Tackle as it is in J Japan. Like these, I can still pick them up like instantly for like, I think they're like two to maybe three euros per card. So yeah, getting these graded and just selling them as graded, I think is really worth it. Uh, so I picked up like 50 of these and I've been selling them raw for like really nice, uh, nice profit. They've been very popular. So I'm sure that the graded ones will also do pretty well. Uh, okay, here we go to the... These are some Detective Pikachu. These are some of the Charmander. I figured I'd also just grade some of these because they do look pretty clean. We have some more of the Charizards and some of the Charizard GX. I've also just been picking up these when, whenever I can, if they're like below five years or something. Because to me, if I take all of the, the fees and stuff into it it's like maybe 20 20 dollars 20 euros per card and i think i can probably if it grade it like maybe a nine maybe 9.5 if i'm lucky honestly i think they'll do a lot better than <laughs> than that price so yeah i've been picking those up uh, left and right and yeah i'm gonna be submitting a lot more of these because i do still have just stacks of them and i can still get them very easy like these, for example, they came from a deck, and you would get a Mega Charizard, uh, or the, the V Max Charizard, and two of these V cards for like eighteen dollars. And now these, in like for example, PSA ten, are selling for like a hundred, even though the card itself was like, yeah, probably like less than <laughs> less than two euros if you less than two dollars if you like factor in. It, it's crazy, like graded prices and stuff. I think people for a lot of cards are paying way too much. But yeah, I'd, I'm not gonna tell my customers like, hey, you're dumb, you shouldn't buy this from me. I will list it like at a competitive price and like at a price where I think that somebody will pick it up. And also like usually I list it a little tiny bit higher than I'm willing to take for it. So that if somebody sends me an offer, I can give a counter offer or I can just accept their offer and go a little bit lower. Because if you put everything for like the lowest price you can possibly go, you're gonna get people that are upset because you don't wanna like haggle a little bit. Or at least here in the Netherlands you do. Maybe on eBay and stuff it's different, but yeah. And uh, like these English ones, I still had these uh, just sitting somewhere. I think they're pretty decent the condition. But yeah, for just like bulk, I think they'll do fine once I sell them. Also still I had a whole bunch of like first edition cards, which I'll also just be submitting like I, I I just still don't believe the prices of these like first edition cards especially the commons and the uncommons like I would get these like years ago I would get them in bulk and I would just put them to the side and not even bother with them because they would not be worth anything and like now people were like paying 500 or whatever for a PSA 10 of the EV yeah just completely nuts and Oh, there's some more shadowless here, which I didn't bother getting separates for. I guess these are like in not completely mint condition. Like there's some like white on the bottom, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I think we're getting to like the end of the video, and I think it's. I think I'll make it two parts because it's, yeah, probably like over half an hour. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, I've been rambling a lot. I don't completely remember everything I said. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions or if there was anything that's unclear, uh, feel free to ask uh, yeah, in the comments and give a like if you did enjoy the submission and uh, yeah, probably in like a year or, <laughs> or maybe even longer, 
I will start getting these cards back and I'll definitely do a uh, do a PSA return video on them uh, or a P PSA a CGC re uh, return video on them uh, maybe go over the quality of the cards a little bit better if we have the subgrades and stuff and like for now I will most likely have a purchase video next week and I hope to be getting back a lot more P PSA uh, PSA submissions because I have been the cards that I have sent out are honestly a lot of them are in grading now so yeah hoping to get those back and that I can also make a few videos on those and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed watching and yeah as, as always I have ADHD I ramble all the time so if something I mentioned like doesn't make any sense or is like completely random yeah that that's probably why so yeah if you uh, if you're stuck through it to the end, uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next video.